All right. So before we get into it, uh, Zippor, what's going on? How you feel this morning? I'm good. How you doing? Man, still stuck here in Georgia. Uh, what part? Well, uh, I'm here at my at my hideaway uh, parking spot, the only parking spot that has a sign that has a sign that literally says no truck parking. But <laughs> but all of us, all of us truckers, is here in this parking lot. They don't bother us. Oh, Lord. They they don't bother us. Done. This is like I. I found this. It's Granger. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Granger, right over here, off of uh, I think that's 85. But uh, it was one night. Uh, I'd say maybe about in November or something like that. And mm-hmm. I was on 85, and I just so happens to drive, and you know, I, you know, I I, I pay attention, so. I just happened to look over to the side, you know, while I was on the highway, and I happened to notice a whole bunch of trucks in this parking lot. Uh huh. And I'm like, okay, because all the other truck parking was fucking. I know. need to know what that's it, honey. Well, I, I'll send you the I'll, I'll send you the address, but okay. <laughs> um, but I'm 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 you know all of all of the truck park, including that pilot, which is not too far from here, is like all jacked up and i think i gotta mm. i think i gotta go back because i i went back i went there to fuel up and they didn't have no well at least the one pump i was at didn't have no death and oh and, lord and instead of trying to turn around and try to get back into another lane it, 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 I, yeah and and left so what i'm gonna do since the next load ain't that far from here i'm gonna go pick up the load and then I'm gonna try and find other than this pilot. Try, you know, I got enough to get me to another pilot. But anyway, okay. But anyway, that's here nor there. That's what's up. So let's uh, let's get into uh, today's topic, man. We um, we got to give it up for our favorite TikToker. She just <laughs> she she just hit seven thousand followers. Let's give it up for. Her. Yes, sir. Seven thousand followers. A uh, couple of comments says congratulations. Says keep talking to us about drinking and and all this mm. good stuff. But what y'all don't know is again, like, well, you know, is again, you know, she's trying to clean up her image and all like that. She's she's doing a pretty good job at it. Let's hear what she got to say. 7,000 followers. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate the connections. Okay. And I'm trying my best to follow back as right. quickly as I can, but TikTok continues to hinder me. I wonder so why. I will try to get around to following back as many as I can. Okay. But I, I think I have to do it in increments. Mm. Um, so many, so many wonderful people I'm meeting on this app. I've only been on here since last month. I think it was December 14th, maybe. And uh, I've learned. What? what? Was it December 14th? Because I, I could have sworn she was on this app a little bit earlier than that. I mean, didn't that didn't that uh situation with the truck driver at the fuel island happen in early December? It was it was yeah, before, I believe so. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was it was before, before Christmas, Christmas. I know for sure. Right. right. So yeah, she could be right. She could be right. Right. Yeah. 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 So much. I'm still learning. There are so many wonderful, gifted members of the trucking community, and I'm so glad to be a part of it. Uh, thank you. I never thought anybody wanted to hear anything my big mouth had to say. But I, I didn't think anybody wanted to hear anything you had to say either after you'd snitched me out. Me either, after she snitched that, on that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you that snitched, was just awful. Yeah, you snitched on a guy <laughs> and got him fired. You know, I, I'm, I'm surprised anybody is interested in listening to what you got to say after all of that. But right. if, but of course, no nobody ain't going to hear what you got to say because you so happily and conveniently took the video down. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You you, you took the video, <laughs> down. which Excuse which me. which which is still a good thing. I mean, you know, if you're going to clean up your image and everything, you you definitely don't want nothing on your channel to hinder you, right? Did you see the one I sent you about the new guy backing up into the dock? Yeah, yeah, I'll check that one out in a minute. Let's let's finish okay. up. Let's finish up. 
I guess I was wrong. I uh, have more videos to come. Thank right. you all for your patience. And okay. thank you again for your connections. No problem. And let's keep moving forward. Yeah, let's if you do like that. What you hear on my channel. Hmm. Or if you have any video requests sure. that you'd like for me to touch on. Well, unfortunately, uh, Mo said it. I can't give you no video requests. You, uh, yeah. you, you conveniently blocked me. So I, I won't be able to I, I won't be able to reach out to you to give you a request to come on to the show and actually talk oh about God, and, and actually talk about the reason why you, you know, so happily decided to snitch on that driver and get him fired. We, we, we won't connect on that, right? Then please connect with mm -mm. me because I know a little bit about. But she don't know not to be a snitch. Yeah, I, I I don't think you know I, I don't think you know too much about trucking, but you know twenty years in the game give you a little bit of a you know give you a little bit of uh, experience out here. You know I'm surprised that twenty years that you've been out here, you know it didn't teach you to you know do things and not put things on the internet that might have a backlash. Just right. like, you know. People, you know, truck drivers, especially these these so-called trucking community on this dumbass app, is is not it's not a feasible community. I mean, if you jump on communities like you know, uh, you know, BCH, BCH Live, uh, right. you know, the truckers community on Facebook, which you could probably put a little bit of validation on that. Maybe the truckers community here on YouTube, you know, you could probably put. A little bit of validation on that, but the truckers community on this dumbass app, yeah, it, you really can't tell those seven thousand followers are actually truck drivers, you know. And us truck drivers, right. we we have long memories. We do. We we're like elephants out here. We don't forget shit. Right. <laughs> like you snitching on another driver and getting him fired. That's that's not a that that's not a cool thing. That's not a cool thing. Well, she's back again with uh with a, another trucking scam. Trucking scams part four. Watch out for these trucking scams part four. Uh, this one is called the fake truck driver scam. These are usually people who lurk around truck stops or they're, they could be family members of truck drivers who come to the terminal and they've just kind of learned the ways of the transportation industry. Uh, many times what they do is they'll get information from you inadvertently because they kind of look around and listen while you're having conversations with other drivers or you're just having conversations in general. Sometimes drivers like to form little clicks and they just start talking about themselves. So what they do is they gather information and then they'll call your company and get a com check or e-check in your name, a cash advance. Say, wait, hold, hold up. Where where is you getting this information from, lady? That's what I like to know. Where where is you getting these type of scams from? What you doing? Going on Google, typing in uh, trucking scams and all like that? Because what you're saying is 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 total hogwash. How the hell is somebody gonna you know come up to me and inadvertently get my information and then call my trucking company and say, hey, I'm such and such and I need a a, a cash advance. Without that trucking and then company, and you have to show an ID with a come down check, right? And without that trucking company, uh, without that trucking company checking to see if that's the right person that they're talking to, right? Are, are you serious? Right. So my so somebody inadvertently get my information, you know, lock out me in, you know, lock out me in podcasts on YouTube. They get my information. They go to the they 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 call my company up and they be like, "Hey, I'm lockout man. Um, I, I need a cash advance of a hundred dollars uh, of a hundred and fifty dollars." Oh, okay. Here, here you go. No problem. Bam, bam, boom. No, I, I think my safety department and my uh, department, my, the department that usually you know the safety department is usually the one that uh, you know approved the advance anyway. They're gonna be like. This ain't lockout, man. Who are you? What 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 is she talking about? But she got more. Sometimes even in your name. And they're they're very clever, they're very crafty, and they really are good at what they do. Also, I've also seen drivers who will get information about you, excuse me, fake drivers who will get information about you, and they will call your company's payroll and request that your paycheck be sent to another bank account. So whatever Really? This this wow. this shit must be happening to her. 
this must be experience. I mean, I, I, I thought you've been in the game for 20 years, uh, most hated. Right. But she did say it happened to someone that she knew personally. Uh, that It must have been her. Because ain't no yeah. way, ain't, ain't no way a truck driver, a legitimate truck driver. I'm, I'm gonna right. pull. I'm, I'm gonna go as far as to say maybe a new truck driver ain't gonna be that damn stupid to give out their whole first name, last name, social security number, driver code, and all like right. that. Right, right. I, I don't think they're gonna do that. And I unless it was somebody they knew them personally and knew all of their information, then yes, maybe that could happen. May, maybe exactly. Your bank account you actually have on file to have your check directly deposited, they will switch that up. That happened to a driver a friend of mine long time, well, not long time ago, but it was a couple of years ago. Someone called and put in a request for a change to switch bank accounts, and payroll just did it. Didn't ask any questions, didn't even contact the driver to say, you know, are you sure or whatever? Nothing. Then that's a bum ass company that he's working for because if that yeah, company boy. if that company does that shit, then yeah, you you don't need to be working for that company that's just gonna in it hey, that's hi. gonna give up that's gonna give up your information and change your 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 checking account over to another checking account. Are you serious? Right. You can't be serious mm -hmm. right now. She over here talking about that happened no. to a friend. No, I think that friend is you. They, they just did it. Yeah, and he didn't know you paid that Friday. <laughs> and come to find out someone had uh, called in and switched his credentials around. So just be careful. Don't discuss things about yourself. Don't discuss things about your company. If you own your own truck or you own a few trucks, don't discuss things about your business. Just keep everything close to the vest. People are very clever out here. They're very crafty. And I have a, you know, I have a saying that the more advanced technology gets, the more advanced criminals get. And if you find value from my videos, then please connect with me because. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on. What, what you about to say? Oh, my, my fault. Hold on. What you about to say? I know a little bit. Yeah, that part. I, I, I don't think you know shit about trucking, lady. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't think you know shit about trucking, especially. Oh my god! Especially, I've never heard of that before. Especially this scam right here. Are you serious? You know, there's there's a lot of I people. Think at this point, you're just making stuff up. I I think so too, man. But there there is, you know, look, guys. There is, uh, you know, you can't come to the trucking, uh. You you can't come to the uh the the you know the the fuel island and you know some truckers don't talk and then there's some truckers that do talk and you can right. get a, you you know you can get a little bit of information about trucking you know about the company they work for um you know to see if that's a good company or not or something like that because you know some old schoolers like to you know like the they they like to talk but as far as them giving you information. Giving up their, their name, phone number, <laughs> rank, serial number, so right. you can. That's, so, no, that's so not going to happen. People yeah, give their information if they refer you to a company, their right. first and last name and the number they recruit, that's as far as that goes. That is as far as that goes. Well, before we get on up out of here, what, what do you what do you think? Uh, what do you think about uh, about I, this trucking scam? I, I think that she's full of shit and she don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Oh my God! It's keep, ridiculous. Uh, keep it up, Mo Sadie. You you giving me some good ass content right now. I really do she appreciate is. it. I really do appreciate it, man. Keep keep up with your trucking scams. And the sad part about it is, she thinks because she blocked you that you would never see her content, but you see it all the time. All the time. Actually, I got. I, actually, this one was sent to me. So right, that's know, what I'm saying. People this, are still going to send you her ridiculous content. Yeah, because they, you know, the what, you know, the person that sent it to me, like, yo, she, uh, she's back with another uh, trucking scam, and he said, you know, they said that you, you probably might have something to say about this one, bro. I was like, yeah, let me check it out. Checked it out, and yeah, yeah, this, this trucking scam and right here. And he sent it to me, and I was like, is she serious? Her voice like annoys me, and I listened to it just to see what she was talking about. But I was like, is she serious with this? Yeah, she's serious. That never happens. Yeah, she's serious with this. I, no, I don't think that happens. Yeah. Unless somebody knows you personally, there's no way that can happen. Well, because you can sue the trucking company for that foolishness. Exactly. So this this trucking scam has been debunked. <laughs> That's been debunked. So yeah, that right. part, you know. 
Uh, again, man, I mean, congratulations on getting 7,000 followers. You know, I, I, I but give you that. But she's misleading people. I give you that. Congratulations. But, but, I, um, but her but, followers, her followers does not matter because she's misleading people. She's not telling the correct information. Mm. Man, I, I don't I don't know if she is or isn't, you know, this, uh, you know, it's it's always it's always information, uh, information based off of your experience. That's how I look at it. So everything, well, that's, okay. everything that she's that she's looking at or saying or doing is is pretty much based off her experience. I mean, she it, she she did say she was in the game for over tw- uh, for over 20 years. So. Maybe a lot of the stuff that, well, that she she's talking talk about. Something that makes sense, then. Yeah, maybe the stuff that she's talking about did happen to her, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But uh, but this trucking scam right here with people, you know, being crafty and, and, and try to steal your information. There's people that's trying to steal information. I get that. But all the time. But, I've been hacked a lot. But this but this right here, they come, you know, fake drivers coming into the you know, trust stops and trying to get information from you. Uh, yeah, that I, I don't Nobody see that. Nobody would give out their personal information like that from a to a total stranger that's not even driving the truck, would they? I I I, I don't that, I, I don't know. Like I said, that that never happened to me, and I am smart me enough. Either. I'm smart enough not to let that happen to me. Like yo, somebody come up to me, like yo, man. Uh, so how did you know get into you know trucking or whatever, whatever? I I just give them the minimum, you know. If you want to know about this company or whatever, whatever, my name's Lockout Men. You can look me up, and uh, you know the company I work for, yada yada yada. But see, I you know I don't I don't give out the company that I work for, especially online anyway. So-